Hurricane Harvey is a record-breaking storm. It's the most extreme rain event in Texas history. But the city of Houston has some unique geographic and design challenges that have contributed to the flooding disaster. Greater Houston is situated on a flat plain near the Gulf of Mexico and sprawls over an enormous geographic area of 8,260 square miles. It's so massive you would be able to fit the cities of Washington, D.C., Chicago, New York City, and San Francisco well inside Greater Houston's borders. Why is it so large? That's partly due to explosive population growth. From 2000 to 2010, the Houston metro area swelled to 5.95 million people, a 26% increase. Houston famously has almost no zoning codes, meaning there is no strict regulation of what type of building can be built and where. Research has found that less restrictive zoning practices that encourage low population density like Houston's can keep housing prices low, but they can also contribute to what's called urban sprawl. That means more buildings, more parking lots, more roads, generally more concrete, which is impervious to rainfall. In the past, rainfall in the Houston area has been drained away by a series of bayous and water-absorbing prairie land. As urban sprawl crept outwards from the city center, development gobbled up wetlands, trading absorbent prairie grasses for new construction. Although Houston sits on a flat plain, it's far enough above sea level that storm surge really isn't the biggest worry during a hurricane. Rainfall and rainwater runoff is the real problem. Houston has consistently been upgrading its flood preparedness for decades. But a larger question remains on whether those flood preparations have been able to keep pace with the city's growth. In Houston, stormwater management has been about directing rainwater runoff away from homes and businesses. Roads are part of that runoff plan. Those photos and videos you saw of flooded out highways, they look catastrophic, but they're actually working exactly the way they're intended to, channeling floodwaters away from homes. That's one of the reasons why Houston wasn't evacuated before Harvey. Having thousands of people stuck in traffic on those roads while waters rose would have been truly catastrophic. At the same time, development of homes and businesses has continued in the 100-year floodplain areas within the city itself. But scientists worry that even the maps that designate 100- or 500-year floodplains might be outdated, as climate change continues to increase the frequency and severity of storms. The terms 100-year and 500-year flood don't mean that a flood will happen in an area once in 100 years or once in 500 years. It means that areas in a 100-year floodplain have a 1% chance of flooding every year. 500-year floodplains have a 0.2% chance of flooding every year. The flooding due to Hurricane Harvey in 2017 was the third 500-year flooding event in three years. Either Houston is incredibly unlucky, or there's a higher chance of catastrophic yearly flooding in Houston than 0.2%. While infrastructure is built to direct water away from homes, so much rain fell during Hurricane Harvey that the systems were overwhelmed, leaving a huge cleanup and rebuilding effort ahead.